Okay, now remember the incident in Ottawa yesterday, NDP leader Jagmeet Singh confronting protesters who allegedly hurled slurs at him. It underlies the ongoing security concerns for politicians on and off the hill. Let's bring in CTV's Rachel Aiello. And Rachel, what's the talk in Ottawa about the altercation? Sandy, Jagmeet Singh's confrontation with protesters on Parliament Hill has renewed concerns about politicians' security in an increasingly polarized political climate. If you want to fight back, join us. An energized Jagmeet Singh rallied his caucus one day after a dramatic altercation. Video of the NDP leader in the confrontation continues to widely circulate online. You're a coward. You're not going to say it to my face. Prompting politicians to commend the NDP leader for how he handled himself. What happened the other day was not fair to Mr. Singh. And quite frankly, I think he handled it well. In the immediate aftermath of the incident, some MPs were shaken to see how up close and personal the protesters could get as members of the Parliamentary Protective Service stood by. Somebody's going to get hurt. MPs say they've been facing increasing levels of harassment and threats in recent years, and police forces responsible for protecting them on and off the hill, including the RCMP, are straining to keep up. I think they need to review the kind of security that's provided to us. Some parliamentarians started carrying panic buttons after the Freedom Convoy. And since the kickoff of the fall sitting, anti-government protesters have again been demonstrating outside Parliament. Today, Liberal and NDP MPs questioned why Conservatives haven't condemned them. I think the sad part in this is that Pierre Polyev continues to play footsies with these guys. Asked to comment on the altercation, Tory MPs didn't stop. Do you think it's appropriate for protesters to confront party leaders like they did yesterday, Mr. Singh? Some MPs want to see new measures to protect the spaces they work in. But security analysts say that could get costly. I think that the need for more security for MPs should be on an individual basis as needed. Sandy, there's been lots of talk about the need to do more to safeguard parliamentarians and their staff. But no new measures have been decided on yet. All right, Rachel, thank you.